Sensex has reached the 24,000 point mark. Let's now go across to Shweta Punj, who's joining us with the very latest. Over to you, Shweta. Right, Maha. A real historical day indeed for the stock market. Sensex hit a lifetime high of 24,000 points this morning on, on the back of post-poll surveys, predicting that the NDA could get 272 seats, give or take 11 seats. But the fact is, this is not the first time the markets are exhibiting such optimism. In 2004, post-poll surveys predicted a convincing win for the BJP, but the post-result dip brought bad news for several unsuspecting investors. This green ticker on the Feroz Gigi Boy Taz in Mumbai reflects the celebratory mood markets are in. There may be no firecrackers, Narendra Modi may not be the Prime Minister yet, but investors are already cheering. Riding high on the exit polls forecast that shows a stable government led by BJP coming to power at the centre. The benchmark BSE Sensex has somersaulted 1,000 points in just two days, reaching the 24,000 mark in morning trade on heavy FII flows. Exit polls, in case they are true, they are showing that we may have a strong and stable government in the centre. Now, strong and stable government is what we want because as of now, we want some strong decisions, important decisions to be taken for the economy and implementation of those decisions also. Sectoral indices, particularly capital goods, consumer durables, power, oil and gas and realty sectors led the bull run with gains of up to 5%. Markets have been on steroids the past four sessions, displaying an exuberance seasoned analysts are a little wary of. Some feel it won't be long before sell calls outnumber the buys. Soon after exit poll, the stock market is bullish yet again. Today in the morning session, it started with a 350 points up, almost touching 24,000 level, never seen in the history of Indian capital market. And the market and analysts are saying the 16th May is not, not far away, but even on 16th May, it might go or it might touch around 25,000 level. That shows the confidence within the foreign institutional investors who are putting money in crores every day. They believe that the new government would be NDA government and the new Prime Minister would be Narendra Modi. And that's the reason since last three trading sessions we have seen almost 1300 to 1400 points up in Sensex. And in that, that's the situation even in Nifty it has already crossed 7000 level. And that's a bullishness that we are seeing on Dalal Street. But the bottom line is that fundamental is still not uh, changed. The Indian economy has not improved much. It is still the same. But so whatever bullishness we are seeing on the Dalar street, it's all because of Modi factor. With camera person Nitin Varne, this is Virendra Chumunawat in Mumbai for headlines today. Well, uh, let's quickly go across to Virendra who is standing by from Dalal street. Virendra, if you could get us a quick uh, status check on the markets. But before you get us that, uh, let me introduce our viewers to the other guests that we have. Mr. Alok Churiwala, Director of Churiwala Securities and Mr. Akash Jindal, who is our market expert. Over to you, Virendra, if you could tell us uh, what is the Nifty looking like right now? Shweta, it started uh, very well today in the morning, uh, soon after the exit polls, it started bang with 350 points up. That was expected, and uh, uh, but it was unexpected so soon, 20, 24,000 uh, level that, 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 that crossed in the afternoon sometime. It went down and now it, it, it somewhere ended around uh, 23,800, some kind of a level, but overall definitely touching all the way 24,000 mark. And now what the analysts are saying that uh, the, the most of the thing has been countered, uh, counted in and most of it factored in. So mostly after two, three days, or maybe on the 16th May itself, market and the Sensex might see 25,000 level. It might cross or it might touch around that 25,000 level. The bullishness is only because of Modi factor and only because of the money flowing from foreign investors. Retail, retail investors are not on the ground. Overall, it's all because of Modi factor and what they are looking at is the stable government which the exit polls is, are indicating. 
So it's right. overall a bullishness, a lot of positiveness right. on the last street, which was never seen in last one or two years. Right, Virendra. Many thanks uh, for that update. Uh, let me come back to Alok and Akash now. Uh, it's a fact, you know, because the retail investors, they've been so badly burnt. And I think uh, this, this uh, possibility of a stable government has really excited the investor community. Let me talk to you, um, uh, Alok. How sustainable is this rally? And clearly, markets have factored in had factored in the exit poll results but are they factoring in the possibility that the exit polls might actually be wrong uh, you're right uh, you see our markets are generally very sentiment driven and sentiment plays a, a big part so uh, yes uh, exit polls can definitely be wrong and markets are well aware of that but what the exit polls have done for the market is very clearly the exit poll has dictated the trend and finally when the number of seats are uh, announced uh, markets will react to that fact now if for some reason uh, the NDA combined can uh, garner more than 300 seats that is one fact that the market has uh, uh, not discounted even thus far and uh, we could see fireworks on the 16th if NDA does manage to get over 300 seats. On the contrary, if uh, uh, the uh, NDA gets less than 240 seats yeah. for whatever reason again, uh, then again uh, there will be a major shock uh, witnessed on Dalal Street. Right. So essentially, uh, you know, this is uh, this is a short term rally and we'll have a better idea of uh, what exactly the market settles at after May 16th. Let me go across to Akash. Now, Akash, it's a uh, it's probably going to be a BGP led government that that's what all exit polls have suggested. What are the key sectors if we go by their manifesto, they've spoken about bullet trains, they've spoken about uh, push to tourism, agriculture. So if you could, you know, looking at the manifesto, if you could give us a, a sense of what are the sectors that are likely to look up, what stocks uh, should the investor out there be watching out for? Yeah, I'll come to the sectors and the areas, but prior to that, I'd like to answer, uh, rather jump into your first question. I think, yes, as you have told, economy has got issues and there are major issues in the economy and I would agree to the fact that the new government wouldn't have a magic wand wherein they can rectify everything. But what I want to tell here is that these issues can be fixed, this issue can be put right. In case NDA comes with strong numbers, They'll have the tools to, I mean, uh, repair the economy, to rectify the economy. Because in simple terms, if we have more and more FII and FDI money coming in, the dollar would also decrease, which would mean lesser deficit, lesser inflation. And again, uh, up to a certain extent, rectify the damage done to the economy. And uh, again, one thing more I want to uh, tell, I mean, uh, for investors who would be interested in knowing what's going to happen, what's the prediction. I am predicting that perhaps by Diwali we have a 26,000 Sensex and by 31st March perhaps we may have a 28,000 to 30,000 Sensex. So 26,000 uh, Sensex if the BGP gets uh, around 260 seats or no. that's your prediction going by what the exit polls have suggested? Uh, see if uh, what exit polls suggest is true and uh, the uh, time I am giving is Diwali and uh, later time I am giving is 31st March. 28,000 to 30,000 because I have said and the basis for that is economy has problems but a party with strong numbers and a will can solve those problems. The basic thing where I want to uh, drive home the fact is that these problems can very well be uh, rectified by a active government who wants to take decisions and who actually implements those decisions. Of course it would right. be Let now me... 16th would tell us whether uh, they actually come to power with numbers and how well do they act after that uh, even if uh, they come to power all those things are future things but yes they are in a position and they have the tools to do things and now coming on to sectors sectors i think number one sector would be infrastructure infrastructure uh, there could be decent gains second would be cyclicals and primarily metal stocks third sector which has not participated that well in the rally could be real estate sector which has been dumped for the past two three years there uh, you could see decent amount of gains in the real estate sector also. Okay.
Well, uh, let me also go across now to my colleague uh, Mahesh Nayak who's joining us. Uh, Mahesh, uh, you've been covering the markets extensively. What's your take? We've been speaking to uh, Alok and Akash who are saying that this is, uh, this is a short-term rally. However, Akash is a bit more optimistic. Uh, what, are your, uh, uh, what are your sources telling you? You know, it's better to wait on the sidelines. We'll have to wait for the final number. Uh, after it's close, that NDA led Narendra Modi is the favourite to form the next government. But uh, I think we should wait for the final numbers. So, uh, are, is the retail investor investing Mahesh right now, or do you think this this is a bull run largely uh, fueled by uh, the FIIs and uh, the big the big the big fish, so to speak? And retail is not at all there. If you see the mutual fund numbers, the polls are declining you know, every six months. Uh, and uh, this is exactly by the FIOLET uh, rally. They have shown a lot of confidence in uh, our own people. Right, right. Or our own investors. Right. Uh, thanks, Mahesh. Uh, let me go across to Alok now. Alok, uh, now, you know, there are some fundamental issues that uh, clearly the markets have ignored for now, but sooner or later they will come back. We know that inflation has gone up, factory output is on a decline, diesel prices were hiked yesterday, so a whole host of issues that are completely being overlooked right now. But do you sense that after May 16th, there would be some sort of uh, semblance of some sort of sanity returning uh, in the markets and uh, that, that's going to get reflected? in the numbers as well. Uh, yes, there are two things uh, over here. One is uh, that this is a rally of hope. Uh, erstwhile, uh, you know, the previous government uh, was uh, not moving with uh, policy actions. Uh, there were a situation of almost pol policy paralysis, if I may. And uh, that was uh, bogging down the sentiment in the market. Right now, what we are witnessing is a rally of hope. Although some sort of sanguinity will prevail after the 16th, also one factor that you seem to have missed out was that this time we may have a substandard monsoon because of the El Nino effect and uh, that could uh, uh, play some sort of a spoil sport. But Taking all this into consideration, uh, I think the, what the markets are cheering is that going forward they see hope based on the kind okay. of impetus industry has received in Gujarat. They believe that, they, uh, that throughout the country also the investment climate will improve. Right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Alok. And thank you very much, uh, Virendra. And of course, Anand. Very many, many thanks uh, for joining us. Uh, Maha, back to you. Uh, like our uh, experts were pointing out, this is a short-term rally for now. Investors need to wait it out uh, before they invest in the markets, at least till May 16th. And that's when we'll get realistic numbers. Many thanks, Shweta. Certainly, investors need to be careful. That's what the analysts are saying at the moment.